In the last several weeks, a slew of retailers announced price cuts to try and bring shoppers back into stores. Price cuts are a proven lever to drive sales and, and grab attention. Michael's, the arts and crafts store with more than 1,300 stores in the U.S., announced last month it was dropping prices on 5,000 products. And during its most recent earnings call, clothing chain H&M says they believe they'll have lower prices at the end of this year than the beginning. Zach Stambor, senior analyst with eMarketer, says the majority of the items seeing the slash in prices are considered to be discretionary purchases, meaning things that are nice to have but not a necessity. Retailers are having to convince consumers to open their wallets and spend. For the last year, shoppers have pulled back as costs have risen 20 to 30 percent higher than they were three years ago. Not only that, but incomes are failing to keep up, resulting in all types of shoppers looking for deals. Middle income consumers have also become more mindful about where, when, and how they spend. One of the hurdles for retailers is getting consumers out of that frugal mindset. Although spending was boosted by purchases of high ticket items and services like cars and travel, spending on furniture, clothing, and electronics remains weak. There's a, a real battle to, to capture consumers' attention. Because consumers are thinking twice about when they spend. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting.